And you walked in here pretty well, even though you'd been kneecapped by the chair. <laughs> <laughs> no limp, need no visible wounds. You <laughs> didn't hobble in here. You started the week as chairman of the Council's Committee on Public Works and Transportation. You were a member of the Metro Board, two assignments that you apparently coveted. And then Chairman Kwame Brown moved to reassign you to the Parks and Rec Committee and to take you off the Metro Board. That move was backed by a 12-1 council vote that you described as a Lord of the Flies kind of moment. Can you tell us exactly what was said in that conversation you had with Kwame Brown on Monday night? And maybe what conversations you've had with your colleagues since each and every one <laughs> agreed to vote you out of committee? <laughs> well, Out of that committee? I, I will say that that meeting Monday night was... Um, Kwame Brown asked me to his office to say that he was making committee reassignments. And so Kwame and I have been, you know, kind of friends over the years because we play basketball together and and such, and I had helped him um, get elected. I, I worked hard for him in Ward 6. So went in and, and sat down with him, and he said, I want to talk about committee assignments, and I know that a lot of you all are concerned about Vincent Orange having a, a committee. So he said, this is Vincent Orange's committee, and he went over that. Was that, in fact, the concern of yours? <laughs> <laughs> I do think that every council member, you know, there should not be a council member without a committee. But it's not something that you were like losing sleep over whether or not Vincent Orange would get a committee. Uh, well, no, but again, okay. I, I think that um, Vincent Orange deserved a committee and he's a very capable guy, having been on the council before and brings a lot to the council. So he did, I, I was concerned, like, I like others about that. And then um, the council member or the chair <laughs> said, um, and I'm assigning your committee to Mary Che. And if anybody knows, you know, Kwame Brown, well, you know he's got a very deadpan sense of humor. And so I looked at him and said, okay, you're kidding, right? <laughs> and he said, he said no. And so um, I said again, um, all right, you're kidding, right? And he said no. So I, um, I really don't want to ever do anything I regret, and especially ever acting out of anger to anyone. So I said the meeting was over. And uh, as I was walking out, he said, well, don't you want to know what committee you've got? So um, I listened, and then um, and then I left. And so that that is exactly what went down that evening. He is insisting uh, to me and everybody else he's spoken to. The chairman is insisting he did this for the well-oiledness of the council that it'll run better, things will get done. He even told one columnist or somebody that he thought you'd be happy with this change. I would just say, is he telling the truth? Well. As I think a lot of folks know, but would you then go ahead and explain why he's not? Well, I think as folks know that I was disappointed that um, that in the short time on the council, I was able to, through the Budget Support Act, make a lot of changes. I started right off the bat. My first meetings about transportation was in Ward 7 and 8, about improving um, transportation in Ward 7 and 8, and had already begun to lay groundwork for... And again, you know, rediscovering the bus service, things like that, and I, um, you know, a Green Alley initiative. There's a lot of things that I teed up very quickly, and felt like that was going to make the city a better city. You I think those this was payback. I, mean, I just the basic, you, you agree this was political pay. I'm I not, know you don't want to get into it, but you just agree that it is, but you don't want to discuss it. I think the most important thing is the bigger picture that what residents care about is the quality of their lives. Is the city moving in a direction they're comfortable with, and can they do they have confidence in their government? Um, I am absolutely not going to get involved at all about what motivates people to do anything. I know that I would not do anything differently than what I've done on the council. I think that there might be a larger issue here about which I am concerned, and I think maybe some other city residents as well, and that has to do with one more interruption, hiccup, hindrance, ha whatever you want to call it, against this city's ability to gain traction, credibility, any other kind of positive element like that by one more move that whether the councilman uh, Wells says it or not seems to be petty um, small-minded and an act of on a person who's already drawn considerable amount of attention to himself and would cause one to wonder why would you draw even more attention to yourself at this particular time in your career and in the city's effort to uh, to, to move forward. 